Hello there. I'm Pat Skerritt, editor of the Harvard Heart Letter. In our September 2008 issue, I wrote about why it's a good idea to check your blood pressure at home. What I'd like to show you today is just how easy this can be using a home automated blood pressure monitor. The process is much the same as happens in your doctor's office, except the machine does most of the work. Now technique matters. Several simple mistakes can really throw off your readings. I've asked Esther Jackson, who runs our office, to demonstrate the right way to use a home blood pressure monitor. To begin with, notice that Esther's sitting in a chair with both feet on the floor. Her arm is relaxed, it's bent at elbow level, and it's supported at about heart level. She isn't talking, she isn't drinking coffee, doing a crossword puzzle, or doing anything extraneous during the measurement. So first, the cuff is placed around the upper arm with the lower edge of the cuff just above, about a half inch above the crook of the elbow. Once it's in place, you hit the start button or the on button or whatever button your machine tells you to use. The cuff automatically inflates and as it does that, it compresses the brachial artery, shutting off blood flow through that artery. Then, as the cuff deflates, it measures the first time that blood can flow through the artery, and that's your systolic blood pressure, the top measurement. The next measurement is the time when there's no resistance, and that's called the diastolic blood pressure. Most home blood pressure monitors also include a number for your pulse or your heart rate. Now here's some common mistakes that you'll want to avoid. Don't put the cuff over a blouse or a shirt. Don't let your arm dangle, but keep it supported at about heart level. And don't do what I'm doing and talking as you're getting ready to do the measurement and while the machine is running. I've list listed some other tips on how, when, and how often to take your blood pressure at home, as well as how to choose a home meter on this web page. Now, measuring your blood pressure at home and sharing the results with your doctor is a great way to help keep your blood pressure under control. And that's a key step toward preventing stroke, heart failure, and other cardiovascular conditions. From the Harvard Heart Letter, I wish you good health.